Oh my Christ. Ooh. So this is a KitchenAid mixer and it is a Artisan 4.8 litre kitchen mixer. Let's start whipping up some coffee. So yeah, this is from my mum, my stepdad, and a little bit to myself. The next thing mum got me is actually a bit funny. So this is a hot water bottle. So it sounds ultimately delicious. So um, yeah. Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to a video that was quite requested on Instagram. So I thought I'd do it on YouTube just to cover both elements. It's a what I got for Christmas video. I hope you all had the most amazing Christmas and the period in between Christmas and when I'm filming this, which is New Year. And um, it's kind of like that hybrid period where no one really knows what on earth is going on. It's the days where no one knows what day it is and you eat so much food and you just feel like you're going into a turkey coma. Turkey coma or turkey coma? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I did. It was very, very nice. Very relaxed, very calm, very well needed. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just film a what I got for Christmas video. Before I do as well, I know this is the classic YouTube disclaimer of I'm not trying to boast or brag or show off. I'm very, very, very aware that I have um, a lot here. I was very spoiled and um, I'm super grateful to my friends and my family and I know there are a lot of people out there who don't get as much um, and it isn't about the presents, I just think it's really nice. I love watching these videos so I thought it'd be nice to film them. I did one last year and it went down really well so I thought I'd film another one this year and I have the help of two of these little helpers as well. <laughs> Kindly donated from Mam's Mantle. Peace. If you do hear noises in this video, we're just gonna roll with it. Billy's in the dog with the garden. What? <laughs> Yeah. Billy's in the garden with the dog, so um, yes, I'll get Ivy in at the end, but yeah, before we get going, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe, let's crack on. I'm going to start with the biggest thing first, which is, yeah, let's start with this, oh my Christ, so this, this is huge, this is actually um, a present from myself to myself, which I guess you could just include it in the Christmas video. So this is a KitchenAid mixer and it is a Artisan 4.8 litre kitchen mixer and I'm obsessed. I cannot tell you how long I've wanted one of these. We're talking a very, very long time. Um, ever since watching the Great British Bake Off, I have always wanted one. Um, and Argos and AO.com, which are two UK brands, um, actually have these and they're on sale at the minute. These are usually like £500, which is so much money, um, but they're half price. Literally, I got this for £270, which I know isn't fully half price, but it's basically half price. Um, and I actually put this on a monthly instalment plan, which I don't pay interest for. So don't think I've just bought this outright. Um, it's just, it's I love it. I absolutely love it. I know I did some work with Breville recently for the hand mixer, and I do have a Kenwood mixer, but I've had that since I was 14 years old. So this is just, it's a dream. I can't wait to take this home and put it in the kitchen. It's going to be amazing. And I got it in the silver graphite grey and it's got the stainless steel bowl. It's got the whisk door hook and um, it's also got the little beater as well, which is brilliant. Oh, hello, Ivy. You coming in the video, little one? Well, that is present number one, which is a bit of a silly present to start with because it's the one I bought myself. But right, the next big present I'm going to put... Sorry if there's rattling as well. This is going to be the worst Christmas, what I got for Christmas video you're ever going to watch. There we go. So this, um, you actually saw me purchase in the Christmas vlog. Maybe the one before, no, it was Christmas Eve vlog. I went to Newcastle to get this. This is, I think it's going to be my new pride and joy. This is a Sage coffee machine. It's the Barista, hmm, Barista Express. And it is a game changer. I have had my eyes on this again for years and um, I've saw so many people use these every time I go in John Lewis I see the experts with them and they have people showing you how to use them and it's absolutely amazing it blows my mind how you can make barista style coffee at home I do already have an espresso machine and don't worry I'm not getting rid of that I love my espresso machine it's really good for just like a quick instant espresso this is more of a labor of love I used to work in a coffee shop when I first moved to London and I love making coffee it's something I absolutely love I love enjoying the whole process of grinding the beans, steaming the milk, and putting the two together. So um, yeah, this is a dual temp um, Barista Express. It's the Sage variety. I think they're Breville in the US. Um, it's endorsed by Heston Blumenthal. He first launched the brand years and years ago. And I just honestly, I love this. This is a present from my man, Billy, who's my stepdad. And I put a voucher that I had from John Lewis as well towards it, and a little bit of my own money as well. They're not cheap by any means, but um, it's just amazing. So you've got the little hopper in top, which is where you put your ground beans, and then you have your um, dual extraction espresso, and then you've got your tamp, and then the different settings for steaming your milk. So expect a lot more um, 
Christmas coffee content and throughout the new year. I'm so excited truly to get my KitchenAid and my coffee machine at home and just unbox it all and get in the kitchen and start whipping up some coffee. So yeah, this is from my mum, my stepdad and a little bit to myself. Then the next one is here. Now this is full of some random bits and bobs. This is kind of from my mum, my auntie and my uncle. Um, just random bits and bobs. Let's start with presents from Billy. So <laughs> um, Billy actually got me, let me get this as well. Oh. So Billy got me a lot of DIY things. Now, he kind of laughed last time he came because I, well, I, I don't really have a lot of equipment. Um, he did provide me with a tool bag when I first moved into um, my flat, but he kind of looked at it recently and it's looking a, not that healthy. So I've got a, a lot of kits now. Uh, I have some screwdrivers, some screws for some pictures and some wall plugs, screws, that kind of thing, some wall tacks and a spirit level with drill bits inside it. So a very practical Christmas present. I know this makes me sound super boring, but this actually makes me very happy. And literally it's a dream. So Billy knows me all too well. Very, very happy with those. So if you see any more DIY coming up, it's very much endorsed by Billy. A very practical Christmas present. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> so presents from my auntie. And um, the first thing she got me is this. But when I opened this, this is a book and it's a London travel guide through time, um, which I thought was absolutely amazing. So it's basically a whole journey through London um, and the history of London from, I think it's from like the medieval times. And it just looks brilliant. It's by an author called Dr. Matthew Green. Um, I think it was apparently my uncle's choice, but then inside was this. And I was like, oh, what's this? And very much linking to the coffee machine. It's two tickets to a um, coffee tour, which sounds so cool. Um, it's joined actors, musicians, and Dr. Matthew Green for an immersive, critically acclaimed tour of London's original and best coffee houses in the city of London. I just thought that was so thoughtful. And um, you apparently get an audio guide, which just sounds wicked, and I absolutely love coffee, um, as my auntie and uncle know. I did actually get them some coffee for Christmas, which is very funny, so uh, yeah. That was a really thoughtful gift, so I'm really excited. We're doing that in March, so I might actually be able to vlog that, so yeah. That was the book that they got me. They got me and Zara some chocolates. These are Marks & Spencer's Salted Caramel Pine Corns. Now, um, they rave about these all of the time, and I've had them, and they're delicious. They're full of caramel, which is just a dream, um, and I'm probably gonna have these, like, once every week, because they're very, very rich, but yeah. Thank you very much, Anne and Dave. So Anne and Dave got me this as well, which is from a brand called Mkuku, and it's a notepad, so this is a like a leather bound wrap notepad. I think that it would be really handy for me when I'm out and about just taking notes if anything quickly pops into my head, maybe any video ideas. So I thought that was really kind of, and I love the colour as well. It's such a nice really good quality notepad. So that's that. Um, they got me a jar of homemade mango chutney. I think this actually might have been for mum, but I'm taking it back with me because I love mango chutney. It's homemade as well, homemade mango chutney. So absolutely delish. And then the last couple of things they got me are these two um, tree decorations. Now these are from the White Company and this is what I was telling you guys about when I went to see Anne and Dave's tree. They are so beautiful and they're supposed to be hung together so you've got a star and a moon. Um, I absolutely love these on their tree and Anne very kindly gave me one of each. So they're so lovely and so thoughtful so I'm going to wrap those up and make sure they get back to London safely. Um, they also got me some more chocolate. These are Hotel Chocolat. Um, salted espresso martini chocolates, which is again a dream. I love espresso martini and chocolate, so a perfect, perfect combination. And the last thing is this, which um, is from referencing to our Porto vlog when we went to Portugal. Um, Anne and Dave were telling me about a sour cherry liqueur that they had in Lisbon, and this is the Marquitas Liqueur de Guina. Um, or Gina, um, it's a uh, sour cherry liqueur and apparently it's meant to be really delicious and they've sourced me some, so um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to try that. Looks delish. So back to presents from my mum. She got me some very, very lovely um, pajama bottoms. I have had these on and I've taken them off for the video, but I'm gonna put them on as soon as I've stopped filming. These are, oh, honestly, they're from Next. Anyone out there who um, knows Next, it's possibly the best place to get pyjamas and loungewear from. And every year, without film, mum gets me a pair of lounge pants. And these are, oh, they're the softest things. And I love the colour. It's like a burgundy check, which is really, really nice with a, like a navy blue cotton tie, waist tie. So yeah, absolutely love those. 
That's really kind from my mum. The next thing mum got me is actually a bit funny. So this is a hot water bottle. So if you watch the vlog where mum came to visit before we went to Brussels, mum got Zara a hot water bottle. And I was like, oh, I really want one because it gets really cold in our flat in London. So she got me this, <laughs> which is a um, Scotty Dog slash um, Westy hot water bottle. It's not the biggest, but it's perfect because I do get a little bit too warm sometimes. So I'm very, very happy with this. She knows me all too well. So um, yeah, maybe we can give him a name. <laughs> it's a very practical present. Thank you, Mum. Mum also got me this really lovely mug to go on my coffee machine. It's an L. Um, I think this, yeah, this is next home as well. And it's got some like flowers and just little things like that. It is a little bit um, more of like a, I guess, feminine mug but I mean I really love it and I think it's really really nice so um yeah thank you mum that's gonna be where I'm gonna have all my coffees at my new coffee machine from so thank you very much oh also from my auntie this was tucked in the bag and I um I nearly missed it actually which would have been disastrous but this is a um Waitrose and Partners slash John Lewis voucher and they absolutely know that I love John Lewis and Waitrose and there's a hundred pounds on here which is just They've completely spoiled me this year, which I feel so grateful about, but I haven't spent this at all yet I think I'm gonna save until I want something like uh, that. I really really want but That was so thoughtful from them. I actually did take this shop and sale shopping with me But I didn't really see anything that I liked so I just thought I might as well save it until I do see something that I really do like but yeah That was just so so thoughtful from Billy's sister. I got a um, bottle of beautiful Hardy's Shiraz red wine, which is one of my favourites, it's um, absolutely delicious from South Africa and South Australia, sorry. And it's just so good, rich red berry, blackberry and uh, spice. So that's very, very nice. And then, oh, spice and nice, hello. And then um, also she got me a very nice bar of caramel door chocolate with American pecans and Himalayan sea salt. So it's like salted pecan chocolate, which just sounds ultimately delicious. So um, yeah, Liz, if you're watching, thank you so much because I will very much enjoy drinking a glass of red and having a square of dark chocolate for sure. Thank you very much. And then the last couple of things are from my friend Charlotte. I'm also gonna pop some bits in that I bought on the sale yesterday. Um, Charlotte completely spoiled me, as she always does, and she knows me really too well. Um, so yeah, she got me quite a few things actually. <laughs> um, let me take them all out. So the first thing is this, it's from, um, I'm not actually sure where it's from, but it's a gin kit. So it's a gin and candle, and it's a blood orange Whitney Neal gin, and a blood orange candle, and oh my god, they smell so good. The candle smells amazing. It'd be quite nice to want to have like a hallway with like a nice fresh scent. I'm definitely going to save it for like more springtime. Um, but blood orange gin sounds delicious. And I know you can get orange flavoured tonic as well. So I think if we put the two together, bit of rosemary in there, delish. I love that. I think that set's absolutely amazing. So yeah, thank you so much, Charlotte. Um, I think Charlotte must have been speaking to my mum or... She must just know that I absolutely love coffee because she got me this. It's a gourmet coffee and syrups four pack set. Um, so there's like four lots of syrups in here. So I think they'd be really nice to have in coffee. So we've got peppermint, vanilla, amaretto and cinnamon. So again, completely amazing. These would be good maybe like hot chocolates as well. So yeah. I'm very, very happy with that. The next thing she got me is this. This is a notepad and it has an L on it and also it has llamas on it because she knows how much I love llamas and alpacas. <laughs> I just love this. It's got like a gold foiling on it. Um, it's lined and it's got L's on each page, which I just love. Honestly, I go through notepads like no tomorrow, especially with what I'm doing now. So yeah, that's really, really thoughtful. Thank you, Charlotte. And then the last thing is from Super Drug Men. This is a like a set, so there's quite a lot in here actually, but it's all like packed away in like a very slim box, which I love. Be great for traveling as well. So there's a daily moisturizer, a charcoal face scrub, um, like a face puff. So I guess that's, I'm not even really sure what that's for to be fair. Um, a four in one wash, a beard oil and a comb. And it's packed away in this little Superdrug thing. And also Superdrug products are completely vegan. Um, Charlotte is a vegan, so I know that's really important for her. So it's really, really nice. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Truly, that is wonderful. And then I wasn't really going to include these, but I did go sale shopping um, the day after Boxing Day, which I'm not really like a massive advocate of, but I did get some nice things, actually. Um, so I thought I'd pop them in here as well, because I guess it's kind of Christmas. Um, the first thing I got is this. Now, this is from Primark Home, and it was £7. It's kind of like a metal and wooden tray. And I'm going to use this for my fragrances, because I did have a gold tray, but I popped that in our living room in London. Um, so I like this. I think it's a bit more high, and I think the fragrances will just slot in um, on top of my dresser. So yeah, it wasn't in the sale, but I, I liked it, so I got it anyway. The only... Oh, also... Oh! Actually, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about these two things. I was wondering if they were going to be in here. 
Um, my mum also did get me, sorry, this is the most disorganised what I got for Christmas video. Um, yes, this is a candle from Next. I was thinking, where are these two things? Basically, I wasn't wanting to burn this last night, but I forgot. That's why I took it out of the bag. It's a festive spiced candle from Next, and it's got like a lovely like pattern on it, which I love, and it's a gold tin, so I'm definitely going to burn that when I'm back. And then also this um, is a belt from Next. Now, I did take this out of the bag again because she took it to the cobbler in our village to get a little belt um, extra hole put in, so that's why I wasn't in the bag, but I love it. It's like got a really nice like industrial like gunmetal buckle, um, and it's just really, really nice. It's more like a smarter belt. I love this. I think this is going to be perfect for when I wear suit. And that's also from Next. And then the last two items I got were from JD Sports, um, which is a sportswear shop. They had a really good sale on actually. They kind of jipped me a little bit with the money because um, when I got to the checkout, I didn't really realise. And I got home and thought, oh, she's charging me £7 more, which is kind of annoying. But I did get two pieces of Under Armour gym kit for when I do get back into the gym in January, which I know everyone does. Um, but yeah, the first thing is this, which are some grey Under Armour gym pants. Uh, these were, I think these were 20 18 pounds instead of 30 pounds, so that's those. Really, really nice, and they're like a nice, like airy material, so they'd be perfect. And then this is a what is this? Oh, it's a white gym Under Armour t shirt. This was 10 pounds, but she rung it through as 12, which again is really annoying. But it's just a classic white tee, it's a nice breathable material, and it's just got the Under Armour logo there. And um, so, yeah, I just thought of getting a nice little gym set, which would be like perfect just to kick off the new year. I didn't want to get like loads of gym kit because I do still have a lot, but I just thought that'd be really nice to have. And that is everything. That's everything I got for Christmas. That I know there's a lot here, and I am, as I said at the beginning, very, very grateful. I know it's, I feel very, very spoiled. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you did have an amazing Christmas, I really hope you did. Um, let me know in the comments down below as well what you got for Christmas, and if there's anything you've still got your eye on in the sales leading up to the new year, do let me know. But yeah, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Um, I really hope you have a lovely new year as well. I'm not sure if there's going to be a vlog between now and new year. There might be. Um, depending on when I get back to London and if we get up to anything exciting. But if there isn't, I hope you all have a lovely new year as well and a very prosperous 2020, which I'm sure it's going to be pretty amazing. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.